Yahudith, Judith, 4. Now the children of Yashadael that dwelt in Yahuda heard all that Holofernes, the chief captain, rather the chief captain of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Ashur, had done to the nations, and after what manner he had spoiled all their temples and brought them to naught. Therefore they were exceedingly afraid of him, and were troubled for Yerushalayim, and for the temple of Yahuwah Elohehem, for they were newly returned from the captivity, and all the people of Yahuda were greatly gathered together. And the vessels and the altar and the house were sanctified after the pro profanation. Therefore they sent into all the coasts of Shomoron, and the villages, and to Beit Charon, and Belman, and Yericho, and to Choba, and Isora, and to the valley of Shalem, and possessed themselves beforehand of all the tops of the high mountains, and fortified the villages that were in them, and laid up victuals for the provision of war, for their fields were of late reaped. Also, Yahu Yachim, the high priest, which was in those days in Yerushalayim, wrote to them that dwelt in Beit Ule, Ulya, and Beto Meshathim, which is over against Yisrael, toward the open country, near to Dothaim, charging them to keep the passages of the hill country, for by them was, rather, by them there was an entrance into Yahuda, and it was easy to stop them that would come up, because the passage was straight, for two men at the most. And the children of Yashadael did as Yahu Yahim, the high priest, had commanded them, with the ancients of all the people of Yashadael, which dwelt at Yerushalayim. Then every man of Yashadael cried to Elohim with great fervency, and with great vehemency did they humble their souls. Both they, and their women, and their children, and their cattle, and every stranger and hireling, and their servants, bought with money, put sackcloth upon their loins. Thus every man and woman, and the little children, and the inhabitants of Yerushalayim, fell before the temple, and cast ashes upon their heads, and spread out their sackcloth before the face of Yahweh. Also they put sackcloth about the altar, and cried to the Elohim of Yashadael, all with one consent, earnestly, that he would not give their children for a prey, and their women for a spoil, and the cities of their inheritance to destruction, and the sanctuary to profanation and reproach, and for the nations to rejoice at. So Elohim heard their prayers and looked upon their afflictions, for the people fasted many days in all Yahuda and Yerushalayim before the sanctuary of Yahuwah Sevaoth. And Yahuyachim the high priest, and all the priests that stood before Adonai, and they which ministered unto Adonai, had their loins girt with sackcloth, and offered the daily burnt offerings, with the vows, and free gifts of the people, and had ashes on their turbans, and cried unto Adonai with all their power, that he would look upon all the house of Yashara'el, graciously.